The reason white liberals think all white people are racist is because they're racist. Last week in Lincoln County, Oregon, they issued a directive that wearing masks is mandatory, except for people of color. 88% of the county is white, and they want to let the other 12% choose if they want to wear a mask or not. Isn't that the most racist thing you've heard today? And probably not why most of you think it's racist. In a place where the majority of people are white Democrats, they're afraid that people of color will get profiled and harassed if they wear masks. So who's profiling and harassing these mask-wearing people of color during a pandemic? They're basically saying, sorry, my dark pigmented friends, but we can't trust you if we can't see your face. To us, a dark-skinned person wearing a face mask looks like they're up to no good, and we might feel compelled to harass you. So if you don't want to wear a mask and get harassed, we understand. Let me explain something that I thought should be obvious to everyone. If you think masked people who are white don't look like criminals, and masked people of color do look like criminals, you're saying that it's the person's skin color that makes them look like a criminal. And I'm not against police profiling. If a gang of masked, red-headed Irish women have been terrorizing a neighborhood, then yeah, if you fit that profile, it's going to make the cops pay a little more attention to you. However, if they have a problem with unfairly profiling people of color in Lincoln County, Oregon, they should do something about it. And if there is a high disproportionate number of masked people of color committing crimes there, then it's not unfair, is it? But there's no need to worry about it now anyway, because after a bunch of angry calls and emails, they have changed their directive and people of color are no longer exempt. But I think a lot of people were angry for the wrong reason. Of course, nobody wants to wear these stupid masks, and exempting everybody but one race seems unfair to that one race of people who have to wear the masks. But they weren't discriminating against white people. If anything, they were trying to protect their white liberal friends from the virus, and from their own racism, and from the wrath of the woke. You see, to write a directive like this, one would necessarily have to judge people by the color of their skin. And that's the exact opposite of MLK's dream. The Democrats are the party of identity politics, so we know they judge people by the color of their skin. Their ideology depends on it. And predictably, that has created a society where more white people are now starting to look at their identity as being white, when the ultimate goal was for us to look at ourselves as being American. Not African American, not Hispanic American, just American. But that's too much to hope for these days. When I was a kid, I was into sports, and I looked up to the greats. It didn't matter their race, but it did matter that they were American. When I was eight years old, I wanted to be like the great Olympian sprinter Carl Lewis. And Carl has to keep his cool about it. Mark. Ron Brown on the inside, Grady in the middle. Here comes Lewis on the outside. Carl Lewis wins the goal. Seventh fastest time ever for Carl Lewis as he grabs the flag and to take his victory lap. He came from way back. Not a great start for him, Marty. Look at him running with the flag after winning the gold. I bet we don't see too much of that in the next Olympics. My point is, we were on our way to putting race behind us. A country boy from Kentucky wanted to be like Carl Lewis and Greg Louganis. I wanted to be the next Ozzie Smith. I wanted to hit like Tony Gwynn and steal bases like Ricky Henderson. I wanted to be like Mike, just like the commercial. But then politics happen. Identity politics. They have to divide us so they can conquer us. Identity politics started to take hold in the 1980s, and now more than a half a century after MLK's I Have a Dream speech, we're obviously moving in the wrong direction. So much so that we're told that we should allow people to burn down our cities and erase our history because of their righteous anger and their skin color. It's gotten so bad that a small Democrat county in Oregon can make one set of rules for white people and a different set for everyone else. And when you complain about it, they say that you're the racist. As long as Democrats on the left practice identity politics, race relations will continue to get worse. And no matter how much evidence piles up against them, white Republicans will continue to get blamed for it. And that's the simple truth. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, click on the link in the description and give what you can. You know, I quit wanting to be like Carl Lewis after I heard him sing the national anthem. Yikes. Dirty Harry said in one of his movies that a man's got to know his limitations. Carl Lewis apparently didn't see the movie. If his rendition of the Star Spangled Banner prior to the Nets Bulls game last night is any indication, as a public service, we present now only excerpts. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. All right, are we all ready? Here we go. Oh, 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 say can you see and the rockets red flag? Uh oh, I'll make up for it now. For oh, the land of the free. That was so much national anthem. <laughs> Written by Francis. <laughs> Written by Francis Scott off key. Those were last night's lowlights. They were last night's highlights. <laughs>